My own theory is that they have less baggage. Um, they're, they're less tied to the vendor. There's less history with that vendor. So um, their attitudes are not, this is the way we've always done it. They're more open-minded. They're more ready uh, to think. Uh, they're probably listening more to their, to their client. Um, I also think that there's more of the born in the cloud type businesses, uh, which are actually thinking about tomorrow rather than yesterday or today. For us, uh, revenue is all about vanity. Um, gross margin and EBITDA is, is, is for sanity. That's where we put all of our emphasis. Um, we're also focused around measuring metrics on an individual customer basis um, and making sure that we capitalise on um, deeper wallet share within those uh, individual customer accounts. In the financial space, the uh, the metrics that we're clearly focused on is going to be sales um, sales orders in. So how are we doing that month, and how are we doing year to date, um, as well as what margining are we um, are we hitting, um, and uh, what's our um, profitability and EBITDA. But the one thing that we measure um, daily, constantly, and always look at is our cash flow. Uh, as you well know, companies don't go uh, into um, into administration through uh, through lack of profits. It's through uh, through cash. As you look at, um, at profits, it's obviously how do you manage costs and keep, um, keep the cost down. Uh, and sometimes that's sort of counterintuitive. Um, as we've come into EACS, um, you know, a number of people have left and a number of people we've asked to leave. Uh, but everybody we've brought in has actually been as, uh, as better quality than the person that's gone out. And we've often had to pay a little bit more for that. Uh, but what that means is we actually get a high quality um, of service and excellence in, uh, in what we do. Uh, and often that can be a much more productive way of, um, of working. Uh, I think there definitely uh, is a Brexit impact. Obviously, there was the devaluation of sterling. Um, that effectively for the bigger players meant that if more of their revenues were coming from Europe, then their profits were actually higher. So there was a, a bounce to the sort of FTSE 100. In terms of um, to the more kind of mid-market businesses, obviously those that were heavily reliant on the vendor uh, were impacted by the likes of Cisco and HP putting up their prices by uh, large percentages, which obviously have eroded margin. Because I think, the th I think the thing that is inescapable is that the end client is always looking for value and I think the, we as a channel need to remember that they've always got a choice. I think everything's got to be uh, about as a service, um, long-term relationships um, that deliver tangible benefits to customers, um, services that are outcome-based, um, and specialising around their core competencies where they can really differentiate and add value to the customer. <music>